Okay. Okay, so everybody knows how... How when you get stunned, obviously you mash, you like press buttons or... Or whatever, and each each input, you know, gets you out of stun quicker. Now, what people don't know is that it actually does matter what you do in terms of uh, motions or in terms of like directional inputs or buttons, because what it does is each input has a specific count to it. So it starts out as when you get stunned, uh, let's say with Alex. The, the original count is about one, there's a countdown of 151, I believe it's like frames or, or you know, I just figured there's a 100, 151 count of, you know, what you can do in terms of like mashing, so the more you mash, the lower the countdown goes down, and when it gets to zero, you get out of the stun, so I'm assuming it's frames, but, you know. Don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. But anyway, so let's say you get stunned with, uh, with Alex. Uh, how am I gonna do this? Let's see. Let me try to set this up. Okay. Okay. Uh, the, the basic gist of it is each input that you press when when it comes to you being stunned matters. So there's a little breakdown of, of you know what inputs do what in terms of the countdown. So when you get stunned. Uh, normally everybody's first intuition is to rotate the stick or like, you know, do something like that. But each input does matter. So, for example, in the countdown of 151, let me actually do this. There's a 151 countdown. that is always present when you get stunned, right? So now, the input that you press reduces the countdown. So, one example would be pressing left or right. You know, one direction, and like, you know, if you press right, it reduces the count by two. Same thing with, you know, any any type of direction that you input. So, you know, each, as long as it's only one directional input, it reduces it by two. But now the difference is, when you go down to down forward or up forward or, you know, something that's two directions, it actually multiplies by two. So that two direction is basically two inputs. So it equals four. Four counts equals, you know, two directions meaning up up forward or down forward or down back or up back kind of hard to see but So two count for one direction, whether it's left, right, or up or down. It has to be one direction for two counts, and for four, it multiplies. Now the buttons are different. The buttons are where it makes 
the majority of the difference because the kicks individually the kicks don't really do anything they literally don't count for an input in terms of the count so you'll see that uh, when I get stunned When I get stunned, I'm just gonna le let it be, and you can see how long it'll take. And as you can see, if you look at the clock, it actually reduces it actually, he actually gets out of the stun at the same time as if I'm pressing the kicks. Meaning that, you know, it's all the same. Let me do this differently. So I'm just going to be pressing the kicks. Well, actually just one kick, because one kick doesn't do anything. It actually makes a difference when it comes to... To pressing two kicks or three kicks simultaneously so basically you know you're pressing them at the same time now that's the other input now with the punches it's actually one input for each punch individually I'll go over this again goes one punch individual So, it goes like that, but there's more to it than that. Now, when you press three punches, it counts for three three counts, so there's a difference. So, obviously, when you start mashing on the punches, uh, the count goes down faster. So, three counts equals three punches. Even if you press them simultaneously, it's still three counts. So keep in mind, all these things, if you put them together, they actually don't reduce the stun as fast as you think they would. Because, I'm assuming because the, the counts they get, you know, when you press everything at the same time, it kind of gets mixed up or something. Not really sure, but, you know. So, one. Kick doesn't do anything. Zero count for equals one kick. Now, when it comes to the kicks, when you press them simultaneously, as I said before, it equals one count. So the only way you can actually make the kicks count is to press them at the same time. So two or three. So if you think about it, it might not be worth it to actually press the kicks. 
better off focusing on the on the punches and the inputs and directional inputs than anything else. But if you want extra, like you know, a little extra count, then it does make a difference. Negative edge doesn't count. So if like you if you let go of the button, it's actually not worth it to do that anyways, because you're gonna be mashing. You know, you're not really gonna be pressing in and letting it go and stuff like that to to get like an extra count. So just keep it simple and think of it as you know in simple terms like this. Now, what I'm gonna do is is do it normally. Okay, so I'm gonna get stunned and I'm just gonna stick to a circle motion. And what that does is it clears it. It clears the count in you know the same amount of time as it normally does. I would say. Into the heat of battle, go for it. You can't escape. See how it gets out at least one second faster. Be able to see it like that. Okay, so same thing. So it gets out, you know, at least one second earlier, so that's, you know, as normal as it can be. Now, when you do it, that's doing it in a circle motion. I'm gonna do it in a half circle motion. So basically, like I said before, uh, you know, each each directional input matters. So when you do it in two different directions, like like a down forward or down back or something like that, it, it makes a difference. But the thing difference with this is that when you put it in one direction, it kind of slows it down. So you'll see. <laughs> So not really as fast, it gets it gets out at least 80 counts slower. So basically as this countdown goes down, it's slower by by 80 counts. So you know it's not as fast as doing a regular circle motion. Now what I'm gonna do is with the punches individually, and it'll actually get out slower. You can't escape. You can't escape. So it's not as fast. Now doing it with three punches, obviously it's three counts. Still not as fast. Doing it with the kicks, it's even slower. Now the next one I'm going to do is actually the fastest, so I'm going to do it with the diagonals. Turn this around. You see it better. So I'm going to do the diagonal. So up forward, down back, up forward, up, up back actually, down forward. You can't <laughs> And you can see it got out faster. You 
almost at 57 seconds it gets out. So basically it's it's a good a good notion to understand that you know each input does matter. So when it comes to mashing out, that's how they get out faster. So almost at 57 seconds, but you know you can as if you mash faster, it'll get out faster. Right there, 57 seconds. So you get out really, really fast if you do it right. When you add it with a circle, it's kind of the same. But it'll probably be faster if you do stick to the four counts. So that's just a quick, you know, I guess quick lesson on on getting out of uh, getting out of sun faster. I'm sure it applies the same way to like pad or something. So if you're using a pad, <coughs> it's probably the same, most likely. And it'll probably be easier if you have the, uh, you know, the, the analog sticks. So you can probably stick to that and you know get out of stun faster. And plus with the extra buttons on top or you know whatever, you'll probably get out even faster than on stick. So that's that. Um, let's see, that's another thing I have. Um, there's actually another thing I wanted to test out 